Hello, Jarvin. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Uh, a little bit complicated, maybe not so tired, but you know, it's a little bit complicated. Why? What happened? A lot of work, I guess. Oh. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm burned. <laughs> okay. What about you? Uh, I am tired. I have a yes, I have a complicated day. You had you had a complicated day. Yes, because we are in the in the last week of job of work, sorry. And we have to have ready everything for the next year and we have to do a lot of things. A lot of things. Things. Yes. Things. There you go. A lot of things. In the inventory, the accounting. Yes. The buying. A lot of trims. A lot of? Trims. Component. Thread. Zippers. Bottoms. Oh, okay. Wow. Yes. That's crazy. Very small materials. Yes. Okay. That's the that's the reason. But are you taking vacations? We we will have vacation the next week. So starting the next week and ending at uh, the beginning of January. Yes. Wow, that's great. But because in August we don't have vacation. We didn't have. You didn't have, right? Yes, we didn't have. Or we didn't oh, have. You didn't have. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, they're they're considering you because some other companies actually are not sending their employees on on vacations at all. So they're just giving the twenty fifth and the thirty and the the first January first, and then they have to continue working. Industry usually sends uh, the employees to rest for a few days, right? Yes. For example, I have to talk with an, another supplier from Honduras and they will work. They, they, they will work. They work until December 24th. Okay, you say I had to talk to other suppliers. Yes. Other suppliers. Another other su supplier? Others. Oh, yes, There's yes. Other yes. suppliers. Good. Really? Good okay. Sorry, similar. Elvis, good evening. How are how are the numbers going? The numbers. How are the numbers going? Uh, uh, sorry, the the numbers I don't understand. How are the, number? the how are the numbers going? ¿Cómo van los números? Mm. Ah, sorry, I think I think that is the, the other topic. <laughs> yes, teacher. Um, I <clears throat> I doing or I made the presentation in English for the American people. Oh, yes, really? Is I I doing my or the yes yes it, and sometimes I used to Google yes teacher when I didn't know the the words I have to use the Google to translate the the, the words or the idea mm -hmm. but I okay. I doing the correction the the form or the the grammar. Wow. Yes, teacher. Okay. And in this week, I I have to presentation the. I the had to. I had to. I had to present. I had to present. Yes, but the. the <laughs> I have to present. Mm -hmm. It's a, a little a little a little or a short uh, comment. 
but the, the technical um, topic. Technical topics, okay. Okay. Technical topic about the system. Good. I'm glad to hear that you were able to apply yes. that. Actually, knowing about math is very important. I'm sorry, very important. Yes. Very important. <laughs> I was watching some videos um, where they were correcting that. When you say very important, or very important, very important, very important. So you make that sound, is a nasal sound behind your nose and you say very important, important. El sonido se produce adentro de tu boca. No sale, important, that's amazing. And there are many words ending that way. Okay, something that I have never taught you, I never taught you this, and I think is very important, <laughs> is how, how, to, how to do some math operations, okay? How do you do some math operations? If you ever wonder, I'm sending you a little image, very small image to your WhatsApp group. So how do you call the X, you know, how do you multiply in English? <laughs> it's very useful. These little five symbols, one, three, three, four, five symbols can help you and can save your life. Believe me. So how would you say 15 por 25 in English? 15 por 25 es igual a? <laughs> That's too much, right? Yeah. Okay. 5 por 5 igual a 25. How do you say that in English? Five per five. Five per five. Look at the chat, Elvis. Five. Yes. Multiplied by five. Ah. Equals twenty-five, right? Hmm. No. Well, that way. Five now, by let's five make it more five. simple. Let's make it more simple. Maths, if we're talking about maths, uh, can I say just uh, five x five equals? Uh, that I was about no. to tell you. No, a shorter, a shorter way of saying multiplied by is times. Instead of saying multiplied by, you can say times. So it would be like. Five times five equals 25. Five times five equals 25. Then divided by, yes, you have to say divided by plus, okay. Um, Daniela, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How much is 25 plus 25? 50. 50, okay, 25 plus 25 equals 50. Very good. What about 50 minus 15, Vadi? 50 minus 15. Good night. 50 minus 15. There you go. Uh -huh. uh, is 15. Is? 35. <laughs> 35. Equal 35. Uh, equals, equals, equals 235. 30, okay. So let's do two. just to warm up. To warm up, can you ask, can you challenge one of your classmates with a math problem? Easy. Easy math problem. Don't go. <laughs> what's the square feet? What's the square root? Or no, just with the symbols that I send you, the way I'm doing it. Uh, okay, Elvis, three times four. Sorry? Three, three times four. 
Eh... ¿Quieres ser un comodín? Pregunta el público. <laughs> you remember? Yes. Oh, and she did, right? She used a, a, an as, an as. Okay, Elvis, what did I say? Three times four? Okay, three times four. Yeah. 12, okay, let's say three times four equals 12. Oh. Okay, good. Continue. Okay. Daniela, can you challenge Max or someone else, Vadi, Jarvin, Elvis? Sixteen divided by mm -hmm. two. <laughs> Who? Um, anyone. Anyone? Yeah. Okay, guys. Eighty. Eight. Eighty. Eight. 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 Exactly. So eight. Six, 16 divided by 2 equals 8. This is very simple math. Okay. Elvis. Yes. Give an example. Um, <clears throat> nine. Mm -hmm. Nine. Um, Divide um, three. Nine divided by three. Repeat all this. Nine divided by three. Nine divided by three. Nine divided by three equals who? Vadi, Jarvin, Max, Daniela? Max. <laughs> okay, Easy Max. Work. Nine divided oh, yeah. by three. Nine divided by three equals three. Perfect. Simple. Okay, Max, challenge someone. Something a little bit more difficult. Eleven hundred plus eleven hundred. <laughs> That's difficult. Who? Cool. Uh, Darwin. Okay, Jarvin, 11, did you say 1100 plus 1100? This yeah. is nice. Yes, right, I missed, oh, okay, 1100 plus 1100. Sorry, don't pay attention to that. Uh-huh, Jarvin? A lot of people said 1100. Uh, numbers that way. Yeah, not everybody says numbers that way. Correct. 1100, 1200. 2,000. 2,000. 200. Excellent. 2,200. Okay, so 1100 plus 1100 equals 2200 or 2,200. Okay, just to close this topic because we're just warming up. Um, let me challenge you in some other way. I just want to, I just want you to remember something that is very important, important. I'm starting to like that topic. Can you read that number on the chat? I'm not very good at reading numbers, but I will try. Please. For, for, uh, oops. No. For me, um, for me, um, uh, fire eight, for fire eight million. Mm -hmm. uh, seventeen. Okay, no, wait. Sorry. That's okay. Don't worry. But let's see. Let's remember really quick. The way I teach math in technical careers is very simple. You know, 
take a look at this. Every time you count the numbers, oh God, what did I do? Hold on. Where did I go? It's not what I wanted. Hold on. Okay, every time I count numbers in English or teach numbers in English, um, I try to make people understand one thing. You read numbers the same way you read them in, in, in Spanish. So you start reading the hundreds every time. So you say four hundred, and then you read the whole number, 58. Then you have million in this case, right? Million, not millions. So you have 458 million, and again, 798,000, one hundred one. Now this little guy here, in this case, we're going to read it as end or one. with, okay, one cent. Right. Because I'm using a currency, I'm using dollars, okay? I'm using dollars. So I will read 458 million 798,101 dollars and one cent or with one cent. Can you write this or saying slowly <laughs> for take notes? Yes, don't I worry. got it. You got it. Uh, what just the final part? It's the final part. I didn't know that out one at the end. Yeah, this guy, right? The, the period? Yeah. Okay, um, really quick. No, las de números enteros, este tipo se llama point. Cuando las de escritura. This guy is called uh, period. Así se le llama. Okay, cuando las de, um, what did I say? Hold on, I'm gonna do it again. So numbers, números enteros. Okay, cuando hablas de escritura, period. Cuando hablas de direcciones de correo electrónico, and you call it a dot, dot com, for example, dot com. Okay, oh. that's the point. Ahora, cuando estás hablando de currency, o sea, de moneda, a este tipo le vas a decir and o with. Igual que en el español, y un centavo o con un centavo. Y siempre en la currency, la moneda, se dice antes del punto, se menciona antes del punto. So, 458,798,101 dollars, en ese ejemplo, and one cent with one cent. If those were euros, if those were euros, and you will say 101 euros and one cent. Some British, some British may say, and a penny, and a penny. And that's another topic, the way you call the coins, you know, pennies, dimes, etc. So, repitiendo, super rápido. Este es un buen ejercicio, ¿eh? que tú escribas cualquier número y que contes hasta el 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ok, then you start. 1, 2, 3, coma, 1, 2, 3, coma, 1, 2, 3, period. Ok, y de nuevo, 100, 100, 100, ok. Ese es el punto de contar cifras grandes. So, a ver, Elvis, ¿cómo sería entonces? Four. Uh, four hundred, four hundred, uh, six, uh, six, eight. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, seven hundred, oh, 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 oh. Wait. Olvidamos leer la cifra ahí. Four hundred, fifty-eight. Millions. Million, no pluralices los millones. Million. 
Ajá. Elvis. Okay. Yes. Continue. Eh, seven, seven, seven hundred ninety-five eh, thousand. Excellent. Ajá. Uh -huh. Thousand and eh, four four hundred four hundred seventy eight hundred. Okay, eso es un número entero. Entonces digo. ¿Cómo le voy a llamar a ese tipo? No son hundreds, ya, ya sería 478. Thousand. No. And. And. Thousand. Uh, vaya, no estoy hablando uh, de monedas, puedo decir and, and 69. Yeah. O puedo decir como es un número entero. Uh -huh. Point. Point 69. 69. Exactly. Point. 458 million. 795,478.69. Okay. Got it? Yes. Good. Revisen el video. Esto, esto es bien importante. Y es tan sencillo como recordar que lo haces igual que en el español. Es 458 mm -hmm. millones. 798 mil 101 ok y en el español decís punto uno o y un centavo dólares y un centavo euros y un centavo ok it's a very good topic vamos a practicar eso luego ok como retarnos entre nosotros y que tu compañero te ponga una hoja así en la en la pantalla y te diga, ok, read it. Y lo tiene que leer, eh. That's a good example. Ok. If you can read it. If you can't read it, traes una tarea. Con... A diputado. Yes. Wow. Wow, I know. Ok. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Madeline. How's it going? Very well. I'm happy to see you and my classmate. Classmates. 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 Mets or mates? Mates. Mates. Classmates. Okay. Classmates. La intonación está en classmates. 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 There you go. Okay, guys. So, ayer no vimos por completo este video. Let's do it. Let's pay attention. Close attention is very simple. Okay, it has to do with connectors, most of all. Okay, let's watch the video. Please pay attention to the grammar and we will discuss it. Hi, we want to go back in time. We will explain how we can refer to it. Don't go and stay for the explanation. Get ready. Referring to time in the past. A point of time in the past. When did World War II take place? During the 1940s. In the 1940s. Over 60 years ago. A period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970. For 10 years. A period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Since 1945. Since World War II ended. For about the last 60 years. When we want to talk about a point of time in the past, we may use the words in, ago, during. I will give you some examples using a timeline. Rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago. Disco became a craze in 1975. Madonna was on the music scene during the 1990s. Okay. Questions? Questions? No, I don't have any question. Question. Any questions? Neither. Questions. You know how to use these uh, words of time? 
how to use a go in during can you explain me what's the difference between a go in and during and during is a a, a time and a time and what and do you mean a, a time year to other year is a time during a a, a time hmm. in is an a year in a year a okay year, in a year L maybe and let's let's start from in the proposition ago is the... in past exactly ago ago is in past okay so let's take a look at let's say that we are in the year 2000 madeline so rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago 50 years ago yeah ago Okay, this COVID became a craze in 1975. Exactly in 1975, yes. disco in the was year. the thing. Disco was the stuff, you know, it was, wow. It was very popular. Now, during, can somebody explain me during? During that time, the decade. That decade from 1990 to 2000? yeah okay so during during is a period of time yeah it embraces a period of time okay good just wanted to make sure that you know about this okay because this is a very basic topic for advanced but sometimes we forget things okay let's move on a period of time that continues into the present using since and for. Mm -hmm. The United Nations has existed since 1945. The United Nations has existed for over 60 years. Okay, this is very similar. Can somebody tell me what grammar tense are we using these two prepositions, since and for? Yes, I'm yes, perfect. Present, perfect. Yes. That is correct, For present perfect, it's very common to see these two prepositions. Since, sí. desde, right? For, por, right? Last time. Sorry? Last time, since. And mm. for, is for, it is uh, and some, some years, several years. Several years, very good. Since is very specific. Four is just for a, a length of time, as Madeline is saying, correct. Okay. Remember, we use since plus a point of time. Example, since last year, since Tuesday. And we use for plus a length of time. For example, for two weeks, for three hours. How long has COVID, how long was the quarantine for? How long was the quarantine for? Since March 2020. Oh, for. How long was the quarantine for? Nine months. Nine, months. nine months. There you go. It's a length of time. Come again. It lasted about four months, I believe. Yeah, it lasted about, it lasted about four months. About Teacher, six months. A question. Length is the same period. Lasted? Length is the same. Oh, length. Period? Yes. A length of time. Um, how can you translate that? A length of time. Un, oh, my God. Wait. Current? Uh, is a period. Yes, I got your point. Yes, it is a period of time. A yeah, piece. A current. A piece. Current uh, a piece of time. It's like you cut the, you cut time in pieces. Okay. A, a piece of time. I got your point, Madeline. And yes, it's the same piece in length. Okay. It's just a part. A period of time in the past using from, to, and for. World War One lasted from 1914 to 1918. World War Two lasted for four years. Okay, so 
when what years did you go to college what did what years did you go to school mm, yes make it up a period a period make it up um 2004 2004 to 2000 2000 18 18 okay good repeat thousand 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 it's a z it is a z okay okay repeat zapato zapote zapote Zapote. 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 Zapatos. A thousand. Thousand. There you go. Thousand. Okay. This is Z. There you go. Easy. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Who's Teacher, repeating? Jarvis? I hear, I hear uh, the letter T. Mm -mm. T. No. Z. Uh, um, not uh, TH. I know. The TH is a Z. Is a Z. 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 Very good. I have thousand. Thousand. Thousand, not thousand. Perfect. Thousand. That is it. I see as Madeline. Very good. Thousand. Okay. So from 2004 to 2018, you went to school. Uh, so how many years did you attend school, Daniela? How many years did you attend school? Well, years, maybe. For, for 12 years. For about 12, 12. years. Excellent. Very good. After the explanation, we want you to type examples using ago, since, and for. Okay, any questions with these propositions? No. no. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, we're, we're about to finish this module. Um, so I'm going to have you practicing the questions that I have been doing to you. Make up questions to your classmates Okay, talking about a period of time in the past in your life. So an experience in the past uh, for how long? For how long were you married? For how long have you been married? How long have you been studying English for? For how many years have you been studying English? For how many months? Okay. How long did you work? We can... How long have you worked? How long have you worked in your company? Danny, yes? We can... Mm. Makeup? No, wait. Can you explain us how to do a question for that topic, for this topic? Oh, okay. Well, it all depends on what you want to use what grammar tense you want to use. So if you want so to- is it correct to say for how long? Or how long have you started for? The preposition for can be at the beginning or at the end or of the, the end. question. Yeah, for, yes. <laughs> can exactly. I write, can I write at, at first or at the end? Yes, you can use it's the preposition okay. for at the beginning or at the end. That is correct. Mm -hmm. For example, how long have you dated? How you date? How long have you dated um, your boyfriend? How long have you dated your boyfriend for? That sounds weird, right? How long have you dated? How long have you been dating, right? Have That's present been. perfect. Have you been dating? But this will be present perfect continuous. How long have you been dating your boyfriend for? For how long have you been dating your boyfriend? How long have you been dating your boyfriend for? Okay, so this is um, present perfect continuous, Danny. Yeah. This will be your WH word, your WH question. Okay, how long? Mm -hmm. And then you have the regular structure of the present perfect auxiliary subject been okay because the present perfect continues you have have been and then the verb in ing 
Okay. And then the complement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you try it? Can you give me an example, Danny? Um, how, how long have you been teaching? Excellent. How long have you been teaching for? How long have you been teaching for? Um, so the way I will answer is using for. I've been teaching for six years. I have been teaching since 2014. I've been teaching since 2014. Since the year or for the period of time, the length of time. Got it? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other question you may think of? Um, how long have you been working for? You can even ask for the place. How long have you been working for Inglés Corporativo? I've been working for Inglés Corporativo for four years. Yeah. And how long have I been working everywhere for? I have been working for 19 years by now, <laughs> formally. Formally, my first formal job started in 2001. It was my first formal job, paid job, 19 years, 19 years ago. <laughs> what about the you? Movie theater. Hey, you got it, Max. A long yes. time. The movie theater was the, the, my first a long formal. time teacher. It's been a long road, my dear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Many years, 19 years already. Okay, it's your turn. Now try to make questions to your classmates to use the prepositions of time. Hey, before I let you go, let me share again this. So what prepositions are we using? We said for, what else? For, ago, ago, since, 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 since. in, 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 in. From and yeah, yeah, from, from and to. Be careful with this one. From and to. Okay. For about. For about. about. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it. During. With. During. With, no? Yes, with. during. During and with, no? No, the ones we, we saw on the class, on the video. So. I've worked for four years. I worked for six years. I taught for, for, for six years. Um, six years ago, six years ago, I started. I've been a teacher hey, since about, 2014. Uh -huh. What about this word once? It is used to, to speak about the past. Once? Once. Like that? Yeah. Well, once I became a once teacher. I... Go yeah, ahead, Max. No, yeah, you can say like that, but you can also say once I was seven years old and my mother told me, for example. Yeah, una vez. Um... Very good. That's right. You can use it in the past to refer to an, to an, to a specific point, very specific point in time. Okay. Let's not get confused. Let's see. So I started teaching in 2014. I have taught, I have taught from 2014 to 2020. So I have taught for about six years. I have been teaching during the last, I've been teaching during the last six years. Hmm. Once no, it is now, you know, using in this form. Yes, you can use it. Once I became a teacher, I didn't want to stop. Once I became a teacher, once, and again. once I discovered my passion for teaching, I, I, I just didn't stop. I couldn't stop. Okay. So let's do teacher, it. But... What? I was about to ask you if you... Have you ever studied at the university to be a teacher? No, to become a teacher, no. I don't have a yeah. degree, let's say. A degree. 
I have a lot of certifications and certifications from many places like La OIT, but I'm oh. not, I'm not, um, what do you have? Uh, the degree, I don't have a, a bachelor degree, let's say, from the university. And I know more than other teachers. Certifications. <laughs> I don't want to go to university anymore. You know, I'm done. I'm done with the university. Okay. And so it's a long story. You have certifications. Experience is, is, is bigger than a paper, I will say. And I have met yeah, many. The certifications help you. Is, is what? The certifications help you. Yeah, it helps you a lot because it's like being a technician, you know, in computers. Yeah. Some technicians know more than engineers <laughs> or more than licentiates. Lic lic some, some of those certifications. What do you have to do? Yeah. Oh, well, they look for you. You don't look for them. They look for you to, to get certified. Some mm -hmm. you pay, some you pay, of course. Not everything is free. Teacher, and, mm -hmm. do you have a book um, a study a technique, elect, electronic technique? Do you have? A book to study electronic techniques? Yes. Do you have? Hmm. What do you mean by um, electronic techniques? By, yes, I need it. I need a, an electronic technique. I just, I, I teach that the signature. Oh, and no. I need it. Uh, will examples or or mm -hmm. us some some phrases or I, I I need it. Do you know? I could help you translating if that's what you need. <laughs> because you wanted to teach electronics in English. I I got your point. Text me, okay? Yes. Thank Text you. me. Okay, I'll split you guys. Make sure you make questions to your classmates. We are six, so it's going to be just two groups, okay? Two groups of three people each. Let's do it and please practice. Let's do it, guys. Let's go. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am fine, and you? And uh, did you understand all the class, um, mm -hmm. the prepositions using a go, in, and um, for? Do you, did you understand? Not everything, but I- told us? Not everything, but I have I uh, an idea how 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 I I get to use. Okay, uh, explain me please uh, with an example using the preposition for please. For preposition for. Yes. For is for example when you are talking about a specific time. Yeah. For example, for example, I I start to work for. Four. Okay, for three years. Okay. Yes. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Me. Okay, for I, I have worked for four years. I have worked for four hours. He trabajado hours, por mm -hmm. cuatro horas. He trabajado por cuatro horas. A period of time, a length of time. So I have worked for four hours. I've been when working. To, when you are talking about a specific time, mm. no. Period of, a period, period of time. Four hours period is a is a period of time. It's a period of time, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Jarvin, uh, tell me when are you using the preposition ago? Ago. Ago. When, when you are talking in, in class. An example, For, please. Okay. I work. Work. 
So for example, I have worked, I have been working since 8 a.m. So let's say it is 12 noon. Okay, I have worked for four hours. I have been working for four hours. Okay, I have been working since four hours ago. See, I have but been the, working since four hours the, ago. The question, the question is about the, the preposition ago. And okay. This, this is my question. Yes, that's, uh, to, that's uh, to, the way you use it, to, an, to a point in time, to a point on, on the past. A point in the past. Yes. Now, the, the exercise, guys, is for you to make a question about yeah. your, your classmate's life. Um, oh, example, yes. Madeline, for how long have you taught? Or how long have you taught for? How yes. long have you taught for? Okay, with my classmate, classmate, I, I, I don't see him. I don't see him. See him. You don't see, see him. You don't see him. You don't see, see your... him. I don't see him. Where, where, where are you? Where are you, Jarvin? Where are you, Jarvin? Okay, for example. Ah, where okay. Do you, Tell where me, do you live? Um, um, how, how long? And do you do you work in the in the same in the same company? Okay, let's go with present perfect, Madeline. For how long have you worked? Have you worked in the same company? I was working in the same company for eight years. Okay, eight repeat, years. repeat, Jarvin. I have worked. I had work. I have worked. I had work. For the same company for four years. For, for the same company for eight years. Eight years. Oh. Yes. A long time. Yes. <laughs> A long it, time. It, um, I have worked. Oh. Ask me a question, please, about my life. Okay. How long? What do you... Yes. How long you work in the, your? How long you were in your uh, school company or your college? In my college, I. Yes. Yeah. Um, I have working. Ah uh, no, I have been working. Uh, for uh, five years since um, uh, 20, 2017. Oh, that's three years. No, four years. Four years. 2016. No, five, five, four. Because uh, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Oh, okay. And four years in the same comp in the same school. Excellent. I was working in another school and I I was uh, working uh, six years, six years too. No? Okay, so you worked there for, I worked, I worked. I worked. Past, I worked there for four years too. Four Six years in the last school. Okay, so I worked for six years on that in the school. Last. Canadi ca Colegio Canadiense, Liceo Canadiense. Liceo Canadiense is the last. It was the uh, last. It was the last. In one. this, my present school is. Is. Is Colegio El Espíritu Santo right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, guys, keep going. Make, make more questions about period of time. Madeline, how long does it take you? How long does it take you to drink that juice? <laughs> how long? How long? At, at the beginning of the class. <laughs> at the beginning of okay, class. Okay, so how long does it take you? ¿Cuánto tiempo te toma? How long does it take you? to drink 
a juice? Um, a 20 minutes. Ok. Una cosa que debemos de practicar mucho es parafrasear. Parafrasear la pregunta que me están haciendo. Oye, how long does it take you to drink um, a juice? The answer, it takes me about two hours to drink a juice. No, two hours, no. I'm just only only 20, 20 minutes because I'm I'm thirsty. Okay, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Thirsty. So thirsty. If, if I'm thirsty, it takes me about I don't know, 20 minutes to drink this 20 juice. 20 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next question. Elvis, Jarvin, come on, practice. Okay, okay. Elvis. Is uh, is downtown. 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 Is in the teacher? When you want to speak about the center of the town, you say downtown. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. You ever been downtown? Daniela says that she has. Daniela says that she has been living there for twenty years since she was born. What? Ever mm -hmm. since she was born. Ever since she, she was lives born. lives at the same place. She has lived at the same place in downtown and it's not yeah. dangerous. That's not dangerous, right? No. It's actually, I think it's an advantage. It is an yes. advantage. You have everything cheaper. Everything is cheaper downtown. I need to go to El Belloso very soon. The market or what? <laughs> yeah, I have to buy a window. Oh, and me too. Aluminum. Aluminium, aluminium window. Yeah, because of the remodeling, the, the, re, the makeover that we're doing with the bathroom. Okay, show me your questions. What questions have you made to your classmates? I asked about asked, to asked, Max. Asked, asked, asked. asked. <laughs> there you go. I asked, I asked Max about. Max? About how long mm -hmm. uh, he has he has he been raised him he oh how long has he been raising his kid yeah okay for how long has you, have you been raising your kid I've been raising my kid for seven years what. She's she or he? He she sorry. She's seven. She's seven. Oh, okay. I thought it was a baby. No. Okay. He wouldn't be able to play Resident Evil Five with me. Oh. <laughs> and 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 defeat you. <laughs> Does she make it? She wins you. No, nah. she can't. Well, she <laughs> let her win. Beat, Come beat. on. What the past of beat, 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 beat. Yeah. Okay. She beat, the other day she beat me playing uh, Mario Sports Mix. He was so happy. <laughs> okay. Because I wasn't pretending. I was trying to beat. Her. You were struggling. You were struggling yeah. to to win. <laughs> okay. Okay, Vadi, let's make a question to Vadi, guys. Uh huh. I'm here. I asked Vadi about. Uh, first, I asked, where does she live? And then I asked, for how long? For how she long? She replied. Uh huh. Vadi, for how long have you lived there? I have lived in Santa Tecla since. 1987. Okay. So that's since 1987. I'm still not getting a response. When when we ask for how long or, you know, with that preposition for, we expect a period of time, a length of time, like for, what will it be? Hold on. Uh, for 30, 30, 33 years old. 33 years. 
for 33 years. Uh, for 33 years. years. Uh, it's four. Uh -huh. I she have answered been, correctly. I have been... The first time when I asked. She had it correct? Okay. But yeah. then She mentioned how, how many so, years she has... She so has how, how do you make a question? How do you make that question using since and not for? Since is desde. Since no, I know, but how do you make the question? I ask you for how long, or Max asks you for how long have you lived there? So how do you use since in that same question? Is how long? Hmm. Specific. <laughs> since, since is when? specific. And how do you been? Since when, when? Since when have you been living? Have you been living in Santa Tecla? Since when have you been living in since Santa when? Tecla? Since when? Since uh, when? I have been living since. I've been, and then right, and then you give the answer that you gave. I've been living in Santa Tecla since I've been 1987. 87? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No, my. Parents, 1982. My God! So you were you were five. Yes. No, no, no. Five, five years. Five years after your father's, your parents. I'm sorry. Moved to Santa Tecla. You were born. Yes, my neighbor is the first. Is one of the first. Neighbor, how do you say colonia? Neighborhood. My, my neighborhood is the one of the first that the city. My neighborhood is one of the first neighborhoods from the, first, from the city. From the city. Excellent. From the city. Wow. Okay, let's go. Establish. Can we use establish? Uh, yes, it's one of my neighborhood is one of the founder <laughs> neighborhoods or one of the first, the neighborhoods that established the city. That's right, okay, let's go. Okay, good questions, guys. Continue practicing all of these prepositions. We need to practice all of these prepositions. Hey, Jarvin. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Hey, nice, nice Christmas tree. Nice Christmas tree. It's by my daughter. Christmas tree. <laughs> Your daughter arranged it? Your daughter arranged Yes. It? Sure. Yes. She oh. loves the, nap, the Christmas, sorry. She loves Christmas. Everybody loves yes. Christmas. I think we all love Christmas. Don't say no. I lost. <laughs> I lost my best friend. Oh, yeah. he never appeared. I sent you. I sent you a, a picture. And I shared it. I shared it with and everyone. I don't know where is he. Oh, my God. That's so sad. Where is? Okay, guys, I have to go. Please study this topic. Okay, and continue with the platform. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Teacher, don't forget, write me, please. You told me. You text me, okay? Yeah, yes. Have to go. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye, bye. My cookie. <laughs> bye, -bye. Oh, no.